lovely people. How are you guys? No, before I do any introduction, I want to sing this song because of the movie I'll be reviewing today. Nezaya, Alaru Asheo, Awani Ologo, Asheo, Papa. Hey, talking about somebody who speaks English and in particular Shannon, I mentioned with a Yoruba song, but then the movie I'll be reviewing today is titled Nezaya. So, when I was seeing that movie, yeah, that song popped up in my head. I'm like, okay, Mutri introduction. So, guys, I am your lovely host, Laya Glitz, for this wonderful section on Divine TV, which is movie review. So, guys, stay with me and don't you go nowhere as I will be reviewing Messiah. It is a Netflix faith based movie. This movie does not criticize any faith. Mm -hmm. See, when you want to see this movie, yeah? Make sure you believe what you believe in. Make sure you know God for who he is. Make sure you understand that God is a miracle working person. I miss the control versus going on on half. Yeah? Your country, your state, wherever it is you're watching this video from, just know God for who he is. Know that he's a miracle working God. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, let's go into... Should we go and die? Should we go into the ocean now? Just stay here with me. So, Messiah it is. Messiah is an American thriller streaming television series created by Michael Petroni. The first season consists of 10 episodes. So it is a seasonal movie. It is a seasonal movie. Yes, it is a seasonal movie. So definitely there's going to be season two for that movie. So anticipate it. I'm not sure you've seen this movie, but seriously, ha, ha, ha. I'll give you guys enough reasons why you should actually see this particular movie. So here is um, a little bit of a spoiler. A weary CIA officer investigates a charismatic man who sparks a spiritual movement and starts political unrest, a fictional story not based on true events. I keep asking myself once and why does Christianity have something to do with the government? Or uh, why does spirituality have something to do with the government? But then this is another, yeah? It's a natural order that everything has to be inside everything. So I feel like I can actually understand it that yeah, when there is a particular movement about Christian or anything faith-based, yeah, it affects the whole system because they are into each other. So the government can actually not survive if the churches or the faith-based people are actually not there. Now I'm saying the faith-based people because we have so many religions, yeah? We have the Christian, we have the Islam. I mean, you can name it. But this particular movie is not even against any type of belief that it is that you actually have, yeah? It brings everything together. So guys, I will be listing the name of the actors that actually stared in this series. So we have Medi Debi, we have Thomas Sisley, Mitchell Munagan, we have Jen Otis, we have uh, Melinda Page our meeting, we have Syed El Halami. I mean, look at, I'm not, my, my tongue, yeah, I'm in Nigerian, so please you guys have to take it the way I'm pronouncing this name. So, I mean, we have so many cast here, but these are the top cast in this particular movie. So, I said I was going to give us a little bit of a spoiler, which I already did. This is about a weary CIA officer. I mean, looking at that woman in that movie, yeah, she's very calm and humble. The way she approached her, her role in that movie, the character she played was really good. I love it. If I, if I ever become an actress or an actor, please, I want to start acting movie like that particular woman. And in this movie, so let me give you guys another spoiler. Why you should see it? The only person that has actually done or did miracle that I have known of uh, is Jesus. And he says, it's a miracle walking God. The second song I'll be singing on this show today. It's a miracle walking God. It's the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking God. Uh, it's a miracle walking God. I mean, God is a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He is the miracle walking God. So any which way, I still on the same track. So God is actually a miracle walking God from beginning to the end, from creating the whole world and from creating me. Yes, it's still a miracle working God. So Messiah in this movie, yeah? his name is actually not Messiah. But the fact that this, um, this, particular, this particular setting at which was in this story, these people are being oppressed. Yeah, 
a whole lot of chaotic was going on in that country. And then when they were shooting and they were blowing up everywhere, this particular guy stood, which is the Messiah in this movie, stood on that particular spot where people were running for their life. He kept preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching about God. He was telling them the prophecy that this particular battle that they are saying today, that they will see it no more. Saying it as if after that day, yeah, there's never going to be any battle or such battle again. That their freedom is coming. This people ran away. They, nobody believes because they felt like it was blasphemy. Yes, normally, yeah, even while Jesus was about to sin. I'm not comparing this guy to Jesus. Don't misquote me. I am not comparing him to Jesus. In fact, he was stated in this movie that this movie is a fictional movie. It is a fiction. It is not even a true life story. It is fiction. So please, I said it. If you want to see this movie, which I know you're definitely going to see, because it's a faith-based movie. It's a faith-based movie, which reminds me of how God does His miracle if God wants to do something, and how Jesus works. So if you're going to see the movie, just make sure that your faith is steady. You know who God is. Don't let anything shake you because there's so many controversies about this movie going on that it's a movie of Antichrist. It is this, it is that. In fact, I don't know how people see things though. I cannot blame that everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Even in my neighborhood, in your neighborhood, we see pastors that people will tell you, ah, that pastor is powerful. Ah, that prophet is powerful. Ah, that prophetess is powerful. It's not as if God did not create people with power. God still creates people with power. The same God yesterday, today, tomorrow, is still the same God everywhere. The God that was in power when David was there, when Elijah was there, when Solomon was there, I mean, name those top, top guys in the Bible. The God that was there is still the same God now. Don't forget, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob is still the same God. Who is the God of Abraham to you? Who is the God of Isaac? Who is the God of Isaac to you? It's still the same God. So when I'm praying in the name of God of Abraham, I should be expecting the qualities at which Abraham got from God. I should be getting it in my prayer. When I'm praying in the name of the God of Jacob or the God of Isaac, what Isaac did in the Bible, what God did to Isaac, I should be expecting that qualities or that features in my prayer. Because that is why I'm praying in the name of their God. What happened to Jacob? Who is Jacob? God of Jacob. The God that changed Jacob's story in the Bible. Please listen to my prayer. So I don't know why there's a whole lot of controversy about this. Thing. I mean, though, when it comes to faith, we have so many faiths. People tend to be like, ah, Christianity is the best. Islam is the best. This one is the best. Hindu is the kiniko. That one is all. See, God is a God of everything. I'm not saying God is a God of Hindu or... I don't know, please don't misquote me. But God is a God of every faith. As long as you let him live in your mind, as long as you accept him as your God, your Lord and personal savior, as long as you walk his way, I am not saying Christianity. You go on your knees, you pray with your tesbiu, or I don't know, you pray with your Quran, you pray, you, you pray with your Bible, you pray with what you believe in, in the name of the Most High God. God, Father, Lord, I am a sinner. I have done this, I have done that. I want to follow your ways, I want to do this. That is you having a personal com communication with God. That is you opening up your mind. God, see me, see through me, have mercy upon me. He's not telling you that it's only Christians that went to the kingdom of heaven. He's not telling that Christianity is the only way to heaven. The only thing God said to me is, I, Jesus said to me rather is, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I don't know why there are so many controversies about this movie. But honestly, you all need to see this movie to be sure and to know where you stand before God. Don't let this movie tell you this is your position. But you know what your position is and know who God is. But this movie is a very interesting movie that you all should see. Messiah, it's a Netflix streaming movie. So stay with me, guys, and don't go nowhere. lovely people welcome back if you're just joining me don't worry i'm still your girl i here and i'm really feeling myself right now yeah i'm feeling myself and i'm pretty sure you guys can see through it that i'm feeling myself so why should you watch messiah messiah represents everything christianity is all about miracles faith not judging yeah how christ does a stand most points in the bible have been represented in this movie. I mean, I don't know what other people's perception might be, but this is it here. But then what I've just said is, 
know yourself. Be strong as regarding your faith, yeah, before you see the movie. See the movie to actually know more, to know about people's perception, but don't waver on your faith. That is one reason why you should actually see this movie, because it represents everything in the Bible, everything in Christianity, the power, the boldness, the faith, because God will not work with you if you don't have the boldness as a Christian. While God is ready for service, while God wants to use you, yeah, he makes you, he prepares you rather, he prepares you for service. It touches you. Maybe you are not the bold type when it comes to talking. It, it makes you undergo some training unconsciously, and then you're looking at it and say, ah, let me do this thing. Am I the one? You get, you, you start to check yourself out. Am I the one? I mean, you've never seen yourself as a security child before, but then it gets to a particular point that you're so interested in teaching, in talking to people about something. So this movie represents everything Christianity. So I don't know what people's um, controversies are about the movie, about the movie being this or being that. But let me take you guys through a little bit of it. Although in this movie, yeah, the, the, the CIA, the CIA, yeah, the weary woman here, actually, she, she works for the government, so they prosecute people, they do a whole lot. So, so. But my question is, my question is, it's like Christianity and prosecutors, <laughs> They will always be intertwined. I mean, they will always be together. Because during Jesus' time, yeah, Jesus Christ was also persecuted. For a crime, Jesus Christ did not commit. But this um this particular movie, this particular movie, this guy was actually causing natural disasters. Not like I shouldn't have used that word causing natural disasters. Him doing those things was actually to prove how powerful he is and how much he can control stuff. They did not paint him to, they did not paint him as Jesus. But then in that movie, they painted him as, ah, this is the Messiah we are looking for. This is the Messiah that is promised. This is the Savior. This is the Prince Bringer. And then his followers yeah, were increasing in numbers. Were increasing in numbers. And the more they are increasing, the more alarm is actually creating to the government. And then the government had to be weary and watch out for this person. Like, what exactly is going on? They had to dig his background and find out that this person has actually been a psychiatrist. A psychiatric patient. I mean, this is a very interesting faith-based movie. I mean, a Christian is no Christian if you're not bold enough, spiritually, physically, in all forms of boldness. If your faith is not strong in Christ, you you'll be easily, I mean, you'll be moved, rather, you'll be moved easily by things that are not even worth it. If you don't have faith, your pastor will start talking about tithe, and you'll be like, is tithe the most? What are they talking about? What is this? What is that? After I am paying tax, so God understands. I don't think it is okay for you to compare stuff like that. This movie is not talking about tax or anything, but then I brought it into it. So don't let little things move you or move your faith. Know God. Don't be a child or an infant when it comes to your faith. Be matured about it. Be wise about it be all doing and all going about your faith. So that is the end of this particular movie, guys. I really hope you guys picked a nice one on this movie and you guys should see it. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section and then we'll be willing to reply to your questions. So I remain your lovely host, Liar Glitz, on Movie Review. And guys, keep watching Divine TV, Divine TV enriching souls through the gospel of Christ. Hey guys, welcome back to the second movie review. And the second movie I'll be reviewing today is A Fall From Grace. I'm shocked at which so many people have not seen this movie. I mean, this movie is God. Just the title alone. When I first saw the title, I'm like, A Fall From Grace, A Fall From Grace, A Fall From Grace. I was expecting something indictively spiritual. Let me use that word, yeah. Yeah, somebody should give me a round of applause, please. I just, I just, oh God. I was expecting something indictively spiritual, yeah? But then, this guy did this thing again to like, be mature about his, his directing, his script writing, the way his movies actually plays out. So, a far from grace, let me give you guys a spoiler. If you've not seen it, but then if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This is not even a spoiler. 
When a woman is indicted for murdering her husband, a rookie lawyer believes there may be a conspiracy at play. This woman is somebody that they don't even want to take up her case. They don't want to take up her case because people are like, what? See, now you murder your husband, now you murder your husband. Now, I will be picking this movie from another angle entirely. So I want you guys to actually follow me in this movie review. And then I really hope you guys will want to see this movie. Now, the, the, the aspect, before I tell us the cast that, that were stayed in this movie, the aspect as which I'll be picking this movie from is this. For both people that have actually been married before and to young people that have not even gotten married before and um, to adults that, have, that are divorced, yeah, then you're trying to like pick your life and be happy for yourself. It is not a bad thing to fall in love. But I think that, yeah, you should... It is okay for we human, aside from even picking it from the angle of wanting to get married or not wanting to get married, it is okay for you to know the people around you. You don't just call a person your friend just because they've shown you one particular nice part of them. If you don't know this person in depthly, please don't make them your friend because their mistakes will definitely be your own mistake. The mistakes they will make will definitely tell on you one way or the other. Now, let me give us the name of the cast that's dead in this movie. So we have Mechard Brooks, we have Tyler Perry, we have Cecily Tyson, Alice, this woman, they made me laugh inside this movie. So we have Krista Al Fox, that is Grace Waters. In this particular movie, she was the woman who was actually in prison for killing her husband, which was not her husband. I'm sorry, I gave you that spoiler, but then it was needed. So we have Felicia Rashad as Sarah Miller, the bad person in this particular movie. Then we have Brescia Webb, Jasmine Bryant. I mean, Nigeria, in Nigeria, we need a lawyer, like Grace's lawyer. We need somebody we actually go to the extreme. Someone who we have that feeling, yeah? So I actually want to like, this person does not look like this thing they said this person did. I need to make more findings. Not because of anything. This lawyer was walked up in this movie, but then she gave it all her shot to want to give Grace a second chance. So want to give Grace a freedom. Now, A Fall From Grace. It's funny how her name is Grace and the title of the movie is A Fall From Grace. Grace actually fell from Grace because Grace was a peaceful woman. Grace was this type of woman that does not steal. She a lot of money, yeah? Huge amount of money in their company was actually in her care, which nothing ever happened to her. But as soon as she entered into, into this marriage, her stuff starts to go sideways in her life. Now, love is a very beautiful thing, but I always love you. You check me the type of love you're investing in or the type of love you're involving yourself in as Christians. The fact that I went to go and pray, Grace did not pray about this particular bubble. Don't, don't get it wrong. Grace did not pray about this particular bubble. Grace was just in love. That was why I said I liked the way this movie was actually done by Tyler Perry. I love you. And Tyler Perry was a bad lawyer in this particular movie. He did well. He did well. I love the way the, 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 the uh, what can I use? What, what can I use? The, the dialogue, yes. The dialogue between Tyler Perry in this movie and the lawyer. It's a dope one. When the lawyer was walked up and Tyler Perry wanted her to do it this way, and she was like, no, she's going to do it this way. And then she gave her boss a very resounding mark. I was like, okay, this is a very good one. And the way the movie turned out was not what I was expecting. The twist was totally out of this world. The twist of this movie was totally out of this world. So there's some lessons, or there are some lessons rather in this, in this movie, A Fall From Grace. As a woman that you have your work, if you're remarrying him, yeah, you've married before, your husband is longer in the, is no longer in the picture. I mean, there's this we women, eh? It's it's funny how God made us, whereby we start to crave attention, yeah, that we've once we've once craved before or we've once enjoyed before. I would like to say that there's time for everything. There's time for everything. Christianity in Nigeria is a very beautiful thing. It is not our religion, yeah? We adopted it. But I'm really proud of the way some of the Christians in Nigeria are actually going about these things. Some Christian women, yeah, once their husband and their selves are not together yet, they are boycotting everything that has to do with marriage. And then I'm like, why are they shutting themselves off this enjoyment, off this fun? I mean, 
there is still someone that's always even willing to actually still want to go out all the way for you most of you they're not ready for that drama but here is grace grace does not want the drama but some way somehow the sweet boy in this picture actually made mama fall for her for him rather it only turns out that this guy only wants to do his thing and then it happened it happened then grace found herself in the prison it's a pretty fall from grace someone who has a peaceful life and then everything about her life was actually going down the rail, both in front of her eyes, and she could not do anything about it. If God had not sent a lawyer like that to her, I'm pretty sure she would have had the entire, all of her life inside the prison. The person who did that wrong would have actually been outside enjoying whatever it is he wanted to, the money Grace had worked for, and the one he stole on her name would have been enjoying it with another person. So A Fall From Grace is a movie of grace. A Fall From Grace is a movie of lesson. A Fall From Grace is actually a movie that will help you checkmate yourself too. If you, if you give yourself the chance to actually check yourself out. If you give yourself the opportunity to know what is going on in your own life. Because I'm pretty sure if Grace has been paying attention, paying attention, which she did though, but then to me I felt like he was late. The couple of times they had arguments, the couple of times she had the chances to like want to know what's up and then understand the fact that this young man here is pretty young for my age. The time the guy started to misbehave, Grace should have actually cut this thing off or create awareness about it. But then she did not because she felt like, you know, women, now you want to forgive, you want to understand. But I don't think it was a woman in that age that should actually want to understand a behavior like that because it is a shoe you've worn before. It is a road you've walked before. So women, yes, this is directed to women. So women, if you've been in marriage before and you want to go into it again, pray about it, ask God, God, is this person your will? Is this person right? Can I do this person? Can this person do me? I don't want to fall from grace. I want to keep enjoying your grace so I can walk your ways. Let me use those rhymes on over and over again, you get? So I've been saying the lawyer, the lawyer, the lawyer, yeah? I'm surprised that the role at which Bresha Webb actually took in this movie because she's, she's a very good actor. Yeah, she acts very nicely. I mean, she's feisty. She does her thing effortlessly. But then <laughs> when I saw her, I was like, oh my God, this is a nice one, girl. She really did well. She did well. I mean, this is a faith based movie. If you're looking for faith based movies to watch, get to see a fall from grace get to see a fall from grace and there are so many moral lessons in a fall from grace what are the moral lessons number one husbands please support your wives your wife is your if, if your wife rather is a career woman please support a career because jasmine which is a lawyer in this movie her husband was a big support and i see no reason why you should be going now then you're keeping the updates of where you're going to from your partner if the husband had not known where his wife would have been at that time jasmine herself wouldn't have made it out of this story because her life would actually be inside the story too our life would have gone alongside that of grace grace wouldn't have had the chance if grace would even have the chance to come out and maybe when she's already 80 years old Please always tell your, your spouse yeah, where you're going to. It could also protect you. This is, for, this is for security reasons. So that is one moral lesson in this movie. Another moral lesson is this, yeah? Do not trust people. Love is the greatest commandment. God did not say you should not love. Love people, yeah? But I'm not saying that you should trust people. People are dangerous. The world we're actually working with these days is something else. In everything you're doing, all your gettings, yeah, get God's grace because that is the only thing that can actually help myself and you to be able to walk this life peacefully. Now, let me sing this song in Yoruba. It says, Let me sing Baba, there is no how myself and you can actually walk this journey if we do not trust in God. If God's grace is not bestowed upon myself and you. Hey guys, we're going on a short break right now. Stay tuned to Lie Your Glitter Movie Review. Don't you go nowhere. I mean, even if you want to go anywhere, you just come back and, you know, you press that stuff now. <laughs> you can always go back and keep watching the show. Stay tuned, guys.
God, I am so relaxed right now. Now, let me give you guys this, this welcome back song. Yeah, I'm such a huge fan of God's grace. Ah, I sound so good. This one should have actually contacted me when they needed a soundtrack for, the, uh, for this movie. Ha, huh. with a produce, with a sing. So guys, welcome back. If you're just joining, don't worry, you've not missed much. Yeah. You've not missed too much. What is wrong with my tongue today? I mean, I really, really enjoy this particular movie. And honestly, there's a whole lot of lessons to learn from this movie. When you want to trust people, know who you're trusting. If you don't know people in depthly for who they are, please don't move close to them. People are dangerous. Forget that God will. God said this. I mean, the Bible said that. Well, God wants a Christian to be smart. God wants a Christian who is so good at drawing the lines. This is what you know about me. And this is what you don't know about me because there's no how you can even know a person. You, let me use let me use my my local English. There's no how you can know a person finish. Let me use that word. There's no how you can know a person finish. Yes. So God wants you to be a smart Christian. Don't trip. Don't dull. We will not fall from grace. Rather, we will always stand tall. Myself and you, we are a huge fan of God's grace, and God's grace will never come to an end in our lives. It will keep bestowing those graces of His on our lives, in our lives, on top of our lives, in all forms of our lives, guys. I'm really enjoying this section and I hope you guys enjoyed yourself too. So we've come to the end of today's show. I really wish you guys well. Stay safe and stay tuned. Keep watching Movie Review with Lion Meat on Divine TV. Don't forget to download our mobile apps and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not forget to do that. Then don't forget to turn on the notification button so that when we drop a new video here, yeah, you'll be notified that Divine TV people, they have come, oh, they have come. Yes, we used to come like that. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for staying with me on this particular round. Do not forget to do what I said you guys should do. Divine TV and reaching souls to the gospel of Christ. I remain your lovely host, Liar Bits. Bye.